What's up guys, Devil Dog Gamer here, and yes, that is right, we are back with Subnautica. It's been a hot minute since we've played it, and um, I'm kind of glad that I took a hot break from it, because it is in its final release. Yes, that is it, it's no more early access, they are done, and um, there's some really cool things that I can't wait to try. Uh, I've been watching it uh, closely for a while, and... I'm kind of glad that we're finally at this final release, but we have been doing a little bit of work. Uh, I didn't want to start this off from the bare bones. By the way, this making this thing and finding the blueprints for this mobile vehicle was annoying, dude. This thing was so annoying to fucking find the parts for. But in the process, we ended up finding um, a ton of blueprints. I have blueprints out the asshole right now. So the thing we're gonna do is, which. All these vehicle upgrades are just amazing. What we're going to do is we're going to start working on our undersea base. I actually just built the tool for it, which is right here, the Habitat of Builder. And I think I'll change it out with this beacon. And uh, we are going to grab some gear, head on down under, and uh, just build a little habitat down there. And start from there. Um, I think I have some stuff here I can bring out. Yeah, a bunch of titanium. Let's bring some titanium out. We got some glass, quartz, copper, stuff like that. Let's send the sea glide, the radiation helmet over, and some water and stuff. I also got some titanium ingots just in case. Wiring, battery, battery. Cool. Okay. So, yeah, let's do this. Let's go on down and uh, make a bit of a base. Let me get the sea moth here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard, Captain. And I think I wanted to build it, like, on the fringe over here. Yeah, like, right over here would be cool as fuck. Uh, but this is, like, near a radiation zone, so maybe somewhere a little over here would be cool. Where we can have, like, a moon pool shoot out from it? I think that would be legit. Actually, no. Right here. This would be cool. Okay, so this is where we're going to build it. Okay, so let's get the Habitat Builder. And let's build a X compartment here. Right there. Bunch of titanium. Boink. And let's do a hatch. Let, well, let's do this. We'll do a, a, a T like this and we'll do a hatch on this side so we can get in and out for right now and then I want to put a multi-purpose room here if possible okay five titanium nice oh, need some more titanium there um, let's take the sea moth up do I still have that beacon on me or did I drop it somewhere I still do. Okay, cool. I'm gonna drop a beacon here so I know where the space is. And uh, we'll drop it right here. And let's name it. Edit beacon name. Base. Ah, I can't talk today. Okay, there we go. I think there's actually some titanium right here inside this little storage, I believe. Ah, there is. Nice. Cool. Let me grab that, that. Let's just grab it all. Fuck it. Okay, cool. And the cool thing is I actually have a moon pool ready to go for this, too. Sweet. All right. Um, so, yeah, let's get inside. It may be prudent to separate work and leisure spaces to maximize productivity. Warning. Emergency power only. But no Oxygen production offline. Um, let's do... Quartz, two titanium for a wall locker. We're actually going to need that. And then, to store stuff. Cool. So let's just do... Building. 
Awesome. All right, let's go out, and I want to get a solar panel on here so we can get some power at least. So one of these will build a solar panel. Ooh, I need titanium and two quartz. Okay, so let's go grab that. Oh, hell no. Get out of here. So let's go get some two titanium and quartz real quick. Should be somewhere around here, so we'll exit out and take a look real quick. There's some quartz. Lead. No quartz anywhere? Well, fuck a duck. Copper. Titanium, there we go. More copper. What are you? Here we go. Gold, I'll take that. Silver. I know I'll need gold for some stuff here in a minute. Lead. All right, let's hop back in the uh, the sea moth here and head back over. Oops, sorry. I did not mean to run you over, friends. I was building uh, solar panels. What did I need for it? I need one more quartz. Fuck. All right, well, you know what? I can sort of start building it at least. I just need quartz, which I'm sure I can find somewhere around here real quick. What the hell is that? Is that, a, is that an egg? Looks like an egg. I'm sure there's another cave over here I can use. I know there's one around. Oh, sorry, I'm like running everybody over. Yeah, I should be able to find some quartz in here real quick. Easily. More titanium. There's quartz right there. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, don't die. Don't die on me. More titanium. There's more quartz over there too. Ooh, tons of quartz. All right, there we go. We're not gonna have a quartz issue here soon. Let me get some stuff made up for uh, water here soon too. Inventory is full. Um, shit. Let me just consume that then. Okay. Let's get back to the sea moth. Oops, sorry. That way we'll get power at least covered. Habitat is now online. Welcome aboard, Power Restored. All primary systems online. All right. So what can we put in here? Vehicle upgrade. Bulkhead ladder. Connect two floors. Bunch of glass. Locker. Battery charger. Ooh, we need a fabricator. Is what we need. Table coral sample. Which I'm not sure what that looks like, but we'll have to find it. And then a uh, medical something fabricator. All right, so let's open this up and start dropping a ton of supplies in here. Actually, you know what? Let's take the uh, titanium out at least. And then let's build another wall locker because we'll need this. We'll need the supply space here soon, for sure. There we go. Okay, so we'll go find some table coral and explore a little bit. And at least we'll get a lot of the main systems up. Oh, shit. All right, let's 
go find some table coral then. Um, let's get the scanner out. I know I need some acidic mushroom. Oh, you know what? I might actually have table coral in my data link coral. No, I don't. Okay. Let's just go exploring a little bit. I might be able to find it. Alright, I think this is table coral, right? Yes, it is. Let me actually scan it so I have it in my scanner for the futures. I'll take it, take it, take the coral sample. Take the coral sample. Okay. And there we go. Alright, let's head back to base, finish this fabricator. And actually, while we do that, I want to empty out the supplies we got going on around here and start moving them over. Because we got a little bit of supplies, at least. Just a little bit, not much, but a little bit. Oh yeah. Cool. Alright, let's hop on over to Sea Maw. Maybe we should build a moon pool too. Might as well. Wait, I can upgrade the Sea Moth? Is that what I got there? Oh. Activate. I had something. It said, like, activate. Oh, there's the power cell. Enter, enter. He's probably hitting that, is what I was hitting. Yeah, I want to get the moon pool started, so that way I don't have to worry about... I can worry... start upgrading these things. And I think I might do the moon pool off the hatch here a bit, so let me move it just a tad bit over this way. Cool. Let me get in and finish this, uh... Finish this fabricator, though. Nice! Sweet! Okay, so let's go on out and build the moon pool. Here and titanium, lubricant, all that fun stuff. You know what? I'm gonna have to build a compartment out. I need glass for that. So I'm gonna need to bring some quartz in, turn that into glass, all that fun stuff. I think I have enough to make glass. Yeah, I do. I think I need two glass for it, right? Yeah. This is why it was important to get the, uh, the stuff I needed. Boop. Glass compartment. Nice. Let me see if I can actually get the moon pool off of that, which would be nice. Oh, there we go. Cool. And then two titanium, two lead. I need lubricant, which I can get off of here. I just gotta be very, very careful. Oh no, get away from me! No, run away! Oh shit. Whew. Don't wanna be dying today, boys. Uh, let's go on over here. I can do the fiber. Oh no, I need the creep vine seed cluster is what I need. I might need the copper in a little while. Flare. Uh, let me, uh, um, let me do this. Not there. But here, I'll drop this, 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 that, that. Um, some of this, these two for sure. I don't need all that food and stuff. And that. And then let me take some extra supplies out, like glass. Lead, silver, titanium stuff, whatever else I really need. I'm not sure, but I can't really. Yeah, I gotta go out to the moon pool. I have two lead. Why won't it let me use it? Two times lead. 
and then I need the lubricant. So I need the seeds off these things, which can be easier said than done. No, go away, leave me alone, leave me alone! Yeah, that's right. Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> this game creates the fear of water for me. Okay, here we go. This was kind of a dangerous ass place to make uh, a base. But it's cool. I got I got a good supply of shit that I totally need, especially for water. This is a good spot to build. Captain. Yes, yes, welcome me back. One of those. Just one lubricant. Lubricant is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. Do, 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 do. Bam, moon pool done. Shit, we do have damage. We're not leaking or anything, are we? We are! Oh my god, no! Why? Shit! After weeks without human contact, it is normal to experience psychological discomfort. Research indicates symptoms may be partly alleviated by adopting a pet or anthropomorphizing an inanimate object. Are we still filling with water? Yes! Yes, we are! Oh, God! Gonna drown. Oh, God. Okay. So, it looks like I have to build, like, whole reinforcements immediately. Is what's, what seems to be happening here. Um, which were? Oh, kid. Fuck. Oh, my God. Ripperonis. Let me go get some oxygen. And then we'll go over there and hit. We need reinforcements. Is there such thing? Lithium. Shit, do we even have lithium? Let's go get some titanium real quick. Oh, this is a dead battery. That doesn't help much now, does it? find my more titanium real quick well I done made my base a little too big and shit happened okay here's a cave system it looks like 
yeah, here we go. Should definitely be able to find some stuff to mine around here. Yep. Copper, I'll take it. Take some lithium if anybody's got any lithium around here. Shit, where, where was it? I just saw it. There it is. Yeah, we're running out of oxygen here soon. Gotta get back to the surface. What do we find? Any lithium? Shit, no lithium. Oh, well. Oh, we might have to go searching for it. No, get away from me! Titanium. Silver. Quartz, quartz, quartz. Don't really need any of that. Gold, I'll take that though. Fuck. Copper. Copper. Lead. Titanium. Copper. Get back to the base. Try to at least salvage this flooding a little bit? I don't know. I might try to remove the uh, the moon pool though. I feel like the moon pool put it way, way, way past where it needed to be. At least structurally. Let's, let's remove the, the moon pool. We'll get the sea moth out, get rid of the moon pool, work on it structurally a little bit. Probably doesn't help, the moon pool is like totally hanging over a huge outcropping. So. Full. Shit. At least I kind of helped with it, though. But actually, no. Let's let's finish the bulkhead real quick, right here. This bulkhead. And then try to get rid of this flooding. Okay, there we go. Hull integrity restored. Draining systems initiated. Okay, cool. So it seemed like the uh, it was the moon pool's position that might have caused the issue here. I feel like if I put the put it somewhere a little. Might have, um, might have been a little bit better here. Hmm. Well, let's try that. Maybe, maybe put it somewhere different. Oh, I need to empty my inventory. I'm like trying to figure out what I need to do, and I just realized I needed to empty my inventory out. Let me, uh, consider. Consume one of these. Consume, consume. And let's drop some of these silicone rubbers. 
Silicone rubbers, get it? Uh, actually, let's just consume that. Even though that's probably gonna kill me. I feel like this is in the worst spot ever. That's what did it. Maybe if I add it in over here, it might have a little bit more of an area to sit through. Yeah, let's try that out. Let's, uh, let's do another glass compartment hallway. There we go. Glass. Bam. Do a, a three-way here. Boom. Or oh, missing more titanium. Right, let me go grab some more. Welcome aboard, Captain. Not that much titanium, it looks like. Titanium ingots, though, everywhere. Uh, yeah, not a lot. Not a lot of titanium. Let's go get some more, and then we'll do. Uh, oh wait, hold on. I can turn this in a sec. This this counts, is it right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. salvage. Alright, let's go find some more titanium and then we'll come back and see if this next spot works. Alright, so I think I got this figured out. I was able to find some lithium. Took a fucking long ass time, but I get it, ended up getting it sorted. And I actually think I want to set this up to do... Can I do a ladder here? No. But I have a second level built up here and I might put something on top of this one if I can. Um, yeah, I don't have enough here. Not enough for bulkheads, but we did a little turn here and we're going to try to put the moon pool on this side out here. If that's possible. I think I have some extra water. There we go. So, let us go back outside. And try to see if I can drop the moon pool over here without it murdering my base. Please don't. Please don't. Or if it's even worth it. I mean, can I even get in here? The question is, is, it, is, am I going to be able to get in with a Cyclops? Or is it just too shitty for a Cyclops? I don't know, I could use it for the Sea Moth. Oh, I could... Uh, oh. Yeah, I mean, I can get the Sea Moth in here easily. But the Cyclops is going to be a different story. I don't know. I mean, there's radiation here. Am I taking damage because of it? Yeah, I am. Shit. See, that's going to be an issue. Yeah, see. I wonder if that's going to cause damage somewhere. I mean, it's going to cause damage to me, but I don't know if it'll cause damage to everything else. Hmm. Interesting. Well, anyways, boys, base is starting to look pretty good. Um, yeah, power's down a little bit. Um, actually, before I forget, I need to get a battery station working. Battery recharge station. There we go. Which is one of the things I want to do. And modification. Let's do a modification station here. And then I need a vehicle modification station also. Wherever that's going to go at. There we go. Vehicle upgrade. There we go. Okay, so I definitely need this in the moon pool. That's one of the things I need to do. Uh, I don't even have any of the pieces for it, so it's not going to let me put it down, will it? No. But that's not too bad. That's not too bad. But it's a good start. We got a nice base to a good start, and then we'll actually be able to go around and and really explore some more. But anyways, guys, if you want to see some more uh, Subnautica, let me know in the comments below. Talk to you guys later. Peace.